Hi everyone. Today we are going to study the network layer. Now we all know that the network layer is the third level in the OSI reference model. So we have the physical layer at the first level, the data link layer at the second level, and then the network layer at the third level. So the network layer responds to service requests. from the transport layer as we all know that a layer responds to the service respects uh, service requests from the layer above it so in the same manner the network layer also responds to the service requests from the transport layer which is the layer immediately above it and then the network layer issues service request to the data link layer right so after it receives the service request from the transport layer it issues those service request to the data link layer so uh, basically you know the pattern is that any layer would receive the service request from the layer above it and would issue a service request to the layer below it so this is what the network layer also does it receives the service request from the transport layer which is above it and then issues service request to the data link layer which is immediately below it the network layer is responsible for end to end service uh, services now when i say end to end services that means from source to destination these services are packet delivery whereas the data link layer is responsible for from node to node that is hop to hop packet delivery so the difference between node to node and end to end service is that end to end means complete responsibility from the source to the destination and node to node means responsibility only from one node to the other node which come in between the source and destination now there must be various nodes in between the source node and the destination node so data link layer is only responsible for the uh, packet delivery from one node to another those intermediate nodes so data link layer is only responsible for the packet delivery from one intermediate node to the other intermediate node whereas the network layer takes the complete responsibility from the source node to the destination node for the packet delivery so when i say that the network layer also is doing packet delivery and the data link layer is also doing packet delivery so what the difference is this is the difference that the data link layer takes the responsibility only from one node to another node whereas the network layer takes the responsibility from the source till the destination now three important functions of the network layer that we all must know are the first important function is the path determination so what is path determination basically the network layer determines the route taken by the packets from the source to the destination now you know there are various routes available in a network we have to choose the best available path or the best available route depending upon various factors so it is the responsibility of the network layer to find out the best or the optimal route for the delivery of the packets from the source to the destination so this is path determination then is the other responsibility or the other service is the forwarding now what is forwarding the network layer forwards packets from the routers input to the appropriate routers output right so whatever packets have to be forwarded have to be forwarded via the routers so the network layer basically forwards packets from the routers input to the appropriate routers output so the responsibility of forwarding is also with the network layer then comes the third responsibility which is the call setup now some network architectures require routers to set up a call along the path before the data flows right so there are some data transfers in which uh, a call setup is not required that is a dedicated path is not required but in some uh, data transfers or in some network architectures a dedicated path or a call setup is required so in case of those network architectures which require a call setup along the path before actually the data can be transmitted for such 
network architectures the network layer provides the facility of call setup now to perform these functions the network layer must be aware of the topology in order to provide a proper call setup or a proper dedicated connection the network layer must know the top topology of the communication subnet not just to perform call setup but to perform all these three functions that is forwarding and end to end delivery uh that is the path determination for all these three functions the network layer must be aware of the topology of the communication subnet now you know what is a communication subnet a subnet is basically made up of routers and communication lines so a uh, the network layer must be completely aware of the topology of the communication subnet so for end to end delivery that means for complete delivery from the source to the destination the network provides two types of services one is your connection oriented service and other is your connection less service so the network layer basically provides both kind of deliveries which is connection oriented also and which is connection less also now connection oriented and connection less services are also known as wired and wireless services right and these services are provided to the transport layer right so for any end to end delivery the network layer would provide you with these two kind of services both connection oriented and connection less services to which particular layer to the layer above it which is the transport layer okay now the network layer meets these following requirements these are the two requirements that a network layer services meets the first is that the transport layer should not be aware of the topology of the network see it is the responsibility of the network layer to provide end to end packet delivery so the network layer must be aware of the topology of the communication subnet but the transport layer does not need to know the topology of the communication subnet hence the transport layer should not know, be aware of the topology of the network or the subnet this is the responsibility of the network layer then services should be independent of the router technology whatever the router technology may be but the services of the network layer should be independent of that and not dependent uh, to the router technology not should not be specific of a particular router technology any router technology the network layer should be able to provide services to that kind of router technology so these are the two requirements which are also fulfilled by the network layer so this is all about the network layer in today's video